fell victim to one of the classic blunders. We are Hey guys, Kongai here, and today we're going to be talking about something very relevant in the game right now. I think we can all say that one of the greatest events in World of Tanks Mercenaries is probably the plus one, minus one event. Um, and the loaded dice event is really nice too, and then you put them together, it just makes the game so good. Yeah. However, for some reason, plus one, minus one was supposed to start yesterday, but it didn't. Instead, they released an article that day before, or actually the day of, it was yesterday, they released an article saying, Guys, guess what? Plus one, minus one is coming this weekend! Woohoo! I bet you you're all excited! It was like, yeah, but last week you said it was supposed to start on Tuesday. So why did it get pushed back, and why did it get shortened? I do not know. Now, I, I don't really want to speculate in a video like this one, because we have no evidence to go off of or anything like that. Like, the theories would kind of just be dumb and pointless. So, so we're not really going to do that. Um, but we are going to talk about another event that they are having during this weekend at the same time as plus one, minus one, which is going to kind of ruin plus one, minus one. And that is double credits at tier 10. Why would you have a plus one, minus one event where you want to... They said, you know, these plus one, minus one events are for testing. Um, they want to get some data on it to see, you know, exactly, you know if the game is played, if it's better like this, you know, um, what kind of numbers do we have on on the weekend or the week or whatever when we're having a plus one minus one. So why on earth would they decide to skew their numbers by also having, you know, a, a bonus, silver bonus event at tier 10? That's going to kind of ruin the plus one minus one because during plus one minus one, I think it's safe to agree that most people play tier eights. All right. The plus one minus one is such a good event for playing uh, tier 8s and tier 7s and tier 6s as you're grinding through the tiers. In fact, any tier realistically is really good other than maybe 9 and of course 10, but no, it doesn't really change for 10 very much because you don't fight 8s much anymore anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So, why would they have the credit event? I, I, I don't know, but it almost feels like they're gonna release you know, an article saying, hey guys, so during the plus one minus one events, we noticed people were actually playing tier 10 more than they were playing the other tiers, which means plus one minus one isn't gonna actually do anything for the game, and it's not good for that. And that really, really bugs me and annoys me, that they would kind of have two tests going on at the same time, which completely counteract each other. Uh, so, I, I am not going to be playing tier 10 this weekend, and I encourage you to do the same. If you like plus one minus one, Resist the urge to play tier 10 this weekend and play the tanks you're grinding guys your tier 8s or tier 9s or tier 7s, 6s, 5s, 4s It doesn't matter play those Please for the love of plus one minus one if you really want to see plus one minus one in this game Then please oh, please oh, please Don't play tier 10 unless of course maybe you don't have a premium tank and you're like, you know, I really want the money, then yeah, by all means, go play tier 10. Like, I don't want to stop you from playing a tier you want to play. If you want to play tier 10, go play a tier 10. But if you really want to see plus one, minus one permanently in this game, then I encourage you to play anything other than tier 10. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, the first call to arms for Operation Overhaul, guys, is if you want to see a change, you want to see plus one, minus one added into the game, then I recommend you boycott tier 10, and that is what I'm going to be doing myself. I'm going to be boycotting tier 10 matchmaking, during this weekend. I do not want them to use this, the fact that people are playing tier 10 as evidence that, oh, look, plus one, minus one doesn't actually affect the matchmaking because, look, people are still playing tier 10. Well, of course they are. You are offering them money. You're, you're, you know, you're making, you know, giving them things to be greedy about. Of course, you know, they're going to be playing tier 10 because they make double the credits. And uh, that is something I really have a problem with. Like, if you really want to test this, then test it properly, please. But they're not they're not going to test it properly, you know. And, and that's just how it is. And But you do have a say, guys. Don't be like, oh, well, it's here, so I'm going to do it. No, no, no. Plus or minus one is here. Don't do tier 10. Unless you really want to do tier 10. Of course, I don't want to force anybody to, you know, not have fun. And perhaps not playing tier 10 isn't fun for you. Then, by all means, play your tier 10s. But otherwise, if you want to make money, play your tier 8 premiums. You probably have one. They've been giving away, like candy the last couple years um maybe your tier 7 premium if you don't have tier 8 you know if you only played last year and you're newer 
you know, things like that. And that's what I really, really recommend. But now let's get to the, the bigger question. Why on earth was, uh, not really the bigger question, but another question. Why was plus one minus one reduced to one weekend, even though earlier this month they announced it would be for a full week? They announced it was going to be launched on the 28th, but it wasn't. Um, hmm. Why, why was it pushed back? I don't know. According to Wargaming in one of their streams a long time ago, it was Pain God specifically. He says there's pretty much a switch you can flick. It's super easy to activate plus one, minus one matchmaking. It was stated that they can just turn it off and on at will whenever they feel like it, um, because it's like no extra coding needed. So then why was it pushed back? That's the weird question. And I, th I do have a theory, and I'm going to share it. People said they like my theories and they want to hear more, so here's my theory. My theory is, they wanted to have this at the same time as, as the double credits at tier 10. That way, um, the results would be skewed, but they do not want the double credits to be longer than a weekend, because then that's just giving away too much credits. So because of that, uh, they made the silver bonus event only for the weekend, and they shortened the plus one, minus one event to be only the weekend. That makes a lot of sense to me, because otherwise there's no other reason to cancel it, to delay it. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you delay plus one, minus one, when it's such a good event? And I took numbers in July when they first did the plus one, minus one event. Or, well, I took numbers in July, and then they had a plus one, minus one event in August. And in July, there were a total of 62,000 players on Xbox that month, which is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. But then in August, guess what? They had plus one, minus one. Guess how many people played during the plus one minus one week? Week alone. I'll give you a hint. It was 79,000 on Xbox in one week. The numbers went from 62 to 79,000. 62,000 over the course of 30 days. 28 days actually is what the, the Xbox keeps track of if you go to uh, Hall of Fame. World Tanks Console Hall of Fame. This is where you can look at this stuff. Um, and then in seven days, during a plus one, minus one event, they had, what was it? 16,000 more players playing over the course of seven days. That, that's insane. And that's, uh, that is evidence right there of how successful this has been. Now, I think they think if they have two events going on at the same time, they're going to have more players playing. People, They're going to have both the people who want to play Taylor 10 and both the people who want to play plus one, minus one. And that is true. But you're also going to be splitting the audience. And it, and like I said, you're also going to be splitting the results. Because you said this is for testing way back in August. You said these plus one, minus one events were for now just for testing. But clearly, you don't care about the numbers enough. Because if you did, then you... You know, then you'd be letting this run, and then you'd have, like, double experience or double credits weekend next weekend, you know. And you would have had the plus or minus one for a full week because the amount of players that play is ridiculous. It is a ridiculous amount of players who play the plus one, minus one event. And holy cow, there's a T100 LT right there. Wow, talk about being invisible. So, yes, this is my official first call to arms, guys. Uh, plus one, minus one. If you truly enjoy plus one minus one, which I know about 95% of you do according to the likes and dislikes whenever I make a plus one minus one video, um, then if that's the case, then please, oh please, consider not playing tier 10. For me. For you. For the community. For everyone, you know? You know, don't, don't help Wargaming with their strange shenanigans. That, that's for sure. And, uh... Also, tomorrow I will be streaming, but I will not be streaming gameplay. I'm going to be streaming the Weekly Assault, Wargaming's Weekly Assault tomorrow, as a reaction video. I'll be watching their Weekly Assault, and I'll be streaming myself watching, and you guys can join me. I just want to see what kind of reactions they have, if they have any about Operation Overhaul, because it's so big, there's no way they haven't heard about it. Will they just ignore it and pretend it's not there? Or will they be willing to man up and say, hey, we see... Your, we see Operation Overhaul, we know what it is, but we can't act upon it. I, that's all I really want from this, is some honesty, or them actually saying anything at all at this point in time. But, you know, we may or may not get that, we probably won't. 
But that's the video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out Space Bandit's YouTube. And that's about it. Remember, guys, if you really want to see plus one, minus one matchmaking introduced in this game, then please boycott tier 10 during this weekend. And, uh, you know, grind your other tanks, grind some money in your food. That's going to be it. Take care, everyone, and peace out.